Welcome to Christ Open Door Community Church. We are located at 5265 Alhambra Drive, Suite C in Orlando, Florida, 32808. Every Sunday, we have Christian education at 10.15 a.m. and worship service at 11.15 a.m. We'd love to have you. Now for today's message. Some people have, have, have won people to Christ. Some people have met people through, through the Christian faith. And then they came over to the Christian faith. And then what you was praying for, your answer prayer was right there. Because you decided, in a moment of time, you decided to use your lunch break to go talk to Somebody. Yes. Somebody. And you, all of us are somebody to keep our God's eyes. That's real. And you yeah, never know right. who you're talking to. That's, real. that's why I've learned to be so flexible in my life. And it's be confusing to some people. But that's I don't know how you do it. No, because it's God. It's God. I know how. I, I, there's been times I went and bought lunch Woo. and let the food get cold just to go talk to somebody else. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And let the food get cold. I said, I eat the lunch later. Because... This right here, this moment of time is fixed by God. Fixed by God. I don't know why God had me buy my food, stand in this long line, just to come talk to you through the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Food done got cold. Sandwich to slide out the side. Because I got the mayonnaise on. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta go savage the rest of my sandwich. But it's all for the kingdom work of God. Compassion. Yes. Compassion, it supersedes comfortability. Yes, it does. Real compassion. Woo. Real compassion will say, well, you know, everybody, hey, yes, you didn't yes. get nothing to eat. No, I ain't getting nothing to eat. Here you go. God bless you. No, 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 no. No, you eat. You eat. I'm good. I'm all right. That's compassion. Yes. Compassion is willing to go beyond the wall. Mm. Compassion is sometimes willing to step out into the deep. Yeah. Amen. To step further than you know, to step to move off script. See, some of us we're so scripted, we, we don't even want to move off script. Uh -huh. We just want to stay right there. Whatever, well, if, if it ain't like this, this, and this, and this, and this. See, God don't work on our timetable. Yeah. Could you imagine if all your blessing was based on your timetable mm -hmm. and not God? Mm -hmm. Could you imagine getting it out of due season mm -hmm. like the prodigal son, asking the Father in Luke 15? He said, give, give me that portion that falls to me. The dad said, okay, I'll write no problem. Here you go. Here you go. Boom. And the Bible said he did what? He went to a far country. He wasted it. Gone. He wasted it. God will give you things sometimes out of due season because you're, you're his child and he loves you. So he said, well, it happened. Why you calling the, the blessing is about to become a curse because you received it out of due season. You ain't ready for it yet. And when he squandered everything he had, we know the story, the one that stayed home, he was grumbling in the moment about his brother coming back. And, and he told him, hey, son, you forgot that I, you had my portion and you were still living with me. And you had the portion I, give, I gave you. Because yes. the, the text said, he divided unto them his living. Yes. Yes. He had double. Yes. But he was more focused on his brother that was coming back because he killed the fatty cow. Yeah. We ought to be excited when our brothers and sisters come Woo! back off the street off of drugs and yeah. come on somebody yeah. start working back in the kingdom of God. Yeah. Yeah. We ought to be excited for them, people that want to work in the kingdom of God and not frown upon them because they want to yeah. see you. They want to work. They want to usher. Or whatever they want to do for the kingdom of God, we want to frown them when they were dropping their lights high and yeah. twerking. We want to frown. Come on, somebody. Oh, they want to take over. They want to take over. They just excited. They're excited about working. I'm excited about working Amen. for the kingdom of God. Why? Because I've tasted and see what the Lord has is good. Last verse, and we go on on this. John 13, 35. John 13, 35. I told you I'd give it all to you. Yeah, I got to give it all to you. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, what that we do. We're supposed to study the Word of God. I take your soul serious. I take you. I, I take this time very serious. 
Because the Bible says, feed them with high honor, for they are what? Watchmen of your soul. I take that very serious. That, I don't take that very lightly. That is a very serious job. I would have, matter of fact, I would have to step down from what I'm doing to be the President of the United States of America. Yeah. That's a lower seat. Yeah. How do you know it? Because the Bible said when we was up on the theocracy, not a democracy, we're in a democracy now, but when we was on the theocracy, the king, they used to go to the, 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 the prophet and ask the prophet. And the prophet was the king, hey, the dude that sent your household, did he tell his guy, sent your household, he told his, his guy to tell him. And if the king was messed up, name it, that's another example. Look with David, chapter 2, 11. David went on ahead and, and, and took Uriah's wife. Remember the story? And you saw what happened? And David, David gave him the story of you lamb. And David was ready to kill him until you found out he was the man. He said, well, David, you the man. You going to put a knife to your own throat? No, he wasn't going to do that. Yeah. So, that's a lower seat. The President of the United States of America, that's a lower seat. Why? Because the higher speed is a man of God. Yeah. A man of God. The one that will be willing to speak to the nation and tell the nation they need to repent. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You need bold and qualified people. You don't need no weak person. Come on, somebody that's got a high and all they want is arms and money. Amen. That's easy. You don't want nobody you can buy off and buy. No. You need someone to tell you the truth and be upset with them about the truth and still love them. I'd rather tell you the truth and you to dislike me than sit there and tell you a lie. Because if I tell you a lie, that means I hate you. That's People are afraid to tell the truth because they don't like you. Amen. People that will tell you the truth and love, they love you. They like you. Yes. They love you. Anybody that loves you enough, they'll tell you the truth. Yeah. Tell them the truth. They'll broke up some marriages because of the truth. Yeah. And it shows you what page the marriage is really on. Mm. The truth. And then what Jesus said in John 31 and 32, he said 31, he said, if you uh, continue on my word, then you are my disciples. Yes. But then 32 said, and ye shall know the truth, yes. and the truth shall make you free. Yes. How should you know the truth? 31, yes. if you continue in my word. That's how you know the truth. Yes. That's where the truth lies in the word of God. Yes. I'm writing down on this verse 35. 34. It says a new commandment I give to you that you love one another as I have loved you. That you also love one another. That's a lot of love in one verse. Eight. <laughs> By this will you know that you are my disciples. How are we going to know? Answer the question, Jesus. Yeah. If, if it's a conditional, yeah. if you have love for one another. How shall we know that we are disciples? By how we treat each other. When we up, when we down, when we absent, when we're present, that's how I love. I love to be so radiant. And I feel the love. That's one thing I love about Pastor Person. You feel the love. The cheek in it. It's, it's nothing wrong. Like being around, I like being around genuine people. I can tell off the back if you're genuine. If, you, if, you, if you're being disingenuous, I can tell off the back. I'm like, all right, now I'm, I'm about tired of you. That's enough of that. Yeah, because you, you only here for what you can get from me. Just go ahead and get to your motive and get to your to your true perspective of what you want so I can just give you what you want and get you on out of my face. But genuine people, oh, you love to be around. You can't wait to get around. Genuine people, just like we have genuine, even some people in the world, from, from, from their own limited perspective of genuineness, when they was in the world, and they said they were, they were wrong, they said, my auntie will tell you how it is. You, you love being around her, even though you didn't agree with all the words that came out of their mouth, but one thing you knew for sure, that they were genuine in, in their own in their own right, they were genuine, and they'll tell you how it is. And then you had other people that had all the backyard courage until the other person showed up. And you like, but he, 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 well, he was saying a whole lot before they got here. <laughs> and soon as soon as you see the person, you you like, wow. Well, wait, I see her. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, you know, this is the last time she walked right into the house. <laughs> and you could hear a pregnant aunt give birth. Because <laughs> uh, the genuine is not. Because the, the, the genuine is superficial. <laughs> but we that are in the body of Christ. Don't want to have superficial genuineness. We want our love to, to go beyond the walls. 
We want our love to go beyond our lip service yes. through our actions. Yes. Channel one another. Talk one another. Pray for, not pray on, but pray for. Yes. One of the best ways to keep the enemy at bay from amongst the people of God is to don't entertain it. Amen. Don't entertain it. That is the best way to keep the enemy at bay from infiltrating the people of God yes. is to don't entertain it. When, it, when it. when it try to come at you with a conversation, mm -hmm. you don't even entertain it. Mm -hmm. Don't even entertain it. Because that's what the, the enemy wants you to feel some kind of way. The enemy wants you sick. Mm -hmm. He wants you depressed. He wants you to look at everything. Every, you, you ever met somebody that just hate church? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that, that say they used to be a Christian, but hate church, and they use every reason to hate church, but they don't use every reason to hate the world. Uh -huh. They'll defend the world all day long, and the world can do anything they want to them. They have all the bad experiences in the world, and they would not be that adamant about hating the world as they is about hating the church. Amen. The bank can, can do them over. Uh, Defraud their account and everything. Yeah. The job can just do them over. And the, the grocery store can sell them some bad food. They'll be still back at Wendy's, still back at public, still back at work, still paying taxes. But let them get hurt in the church and they crucify the church. Yes, yeah. It's sad. Yes, yeah. It's sad. Yeah. And they being disingenuous. Yeah. That's why we have, we gotta love God wholeheartedly. So when the enemy try to whisper in our ear to make us look at the house of God, the people of God, yeah. the men and women of God from a different perspective, mm. we got to rebuke that spirit oh my God. and put it in its place yeah, yeah. and let the people know, I don't know what, what happened to you and the God you serve, mm. but I'm praying for you. Yeah. And get off my phone. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. And I pray that God will heal your mind and heal your spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let all that filth get in your spirit man, yeah. man, yes, Lord. cause you to be sick and worried and stressed. Yeah. And that's what some people do. They're enemies of the cross. They're enemies of the gospel. And they'll do whatever yeah. they power. That's what the, the Bible says they, they slip into your love feast. Yeah. And John, he's, he said they eat with you. Mm -hmm. they, they, they even got, they even got yeah. to, to take you out the dump mm -hmm. and, and pay for the roof Chris day. And the whole time they set you up. So they can, they can gossip and talk about yes. you, the pastor, you, the other people you fellowship with, and everything else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Because mm -hmm. they're on an assignment. Yes, they are. You better be on an assignment. Yes, you better. And Jude said, I earned some oh, good tears yes. for the faith. Yes. It's nobody here that nobody can say anything ill about that I'm not going to defend. Well, number one, they don't call me. Because they already know. They already know. So yeah, that's the best thing to do. They don't even, they don't even really hit me up on Facebook. Because they already know. See, I set president. I, I, I went on here and just set the box, set the staff. Why? Because I'm no nonsense when it comes to that stuff. I, I ain't dealing with that. Why? Because I'm a Christian. And I'm walking for God. And if we're walking and standing for God, Saints, we see so much going on in our world out there. We ain't got time for foolishness. That's right. We ain't got time for that. Oh if you God. want to bounce between religions and, and so forth, you go right ahead. If you want to walk in confusion, you go right ahead. Thank you. I'm going to keep letting my light shine. Yes. I'm going to keep spreading the word of God. Yes. I may not be a Bible professor. I may not be a theologian that have wrote 16 commentaries. But one thing I know for sure who Jesus is. Yes. And nobody can take that away. I may not be on your level. I may not pass the fire out. Oh, so what? That's all right. Amen. Yep. I'm called to my side. Yes. And I'm standing firm on the faith of that what I believe. Yes. And I defend it to the day I die. Oh, no. And I don't mind sharing it anyway. Hallelujah. Let your light shine. At work. Yes. Because you never know who you are influenced to at work. Mm -hmm. They may be a hell in that work. They may be the full of the devil. Mm -hmm. But the devil knows who you are. Yes. I've been in some workplaces that the devil knows who you is. Yes. They may not give you a promotion. They may not give you nothing. But when they deal with you, they deal with a 10 foot pole when yes. they come correct. Amen. Why? It's right. Because they know something about you. Yes. Lord. And then I've been in places where the devil would elevate you. Yes. He don't know why. Right. But God calls his heart to turn. Yes. Because the Bible says the heart of the, the king is in the hand of the Lord. Yes. 
He can turn wherever he, where he want to turn. And you don't know why they're being a blessing to you. But they got to be a blessing because God told them to do it. But God told Pharaoh, all right, that's enough. Let him go. I, did I tell you to let him go? Let him go. Then he finally let him go, then. Because mm -hmm. of God. Thank you, God. Let's continue to show compassion. Yeah. Let's continue to be supportive of each other. Yeah. Because we don't never know the next Bill Gates can be sitting right here in this room. The, the, the next whatever success story could be sitting right here in this room. Yeah. Don't downplay it. If you got entrepreneur or whatever you, you're working on in life, don't downplay it. We talk about famous, what is that, famous Amos the Cookie? Yeah. He, 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 I think how, how he came up with it, he was just doing something in his kitchen. Came up with Amos cooking. Like, well, I don't like Amos cooking, pal. Well, you don't, but get what? They, they still sold me. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the cornflakes. I think he was doing something with the dough and the cornflakes. And, and he realized you could eat them and they came up with the cornflakes. You never know what's locked up in you. See, everybody, everybody ain't going to be spit shy for college presentation. Everybody's not. Some people learn a trade. Learn something. Learn something that can help you go beyond where you need to go. Yeah. Learn something. If you enjoyed today's message, please leave a like. And if you would like to hear more, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed today's message and thank you for supporting the ministry.